Hey guys, Spina Dude here. PNSO has just recently announced two brand new large scale prehistoric models, and they look awesome, so stay tuned. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Casual Spino Dino. I'm doing some catching up here on some brand new releases that have come out as of recently. Uh, these came out about a week or maybe even two weeks ago. Uh, but I, I just had to do a video on them. I haven't seen too many people cover them on YouTube. And I just wanted to make everybody aware of these models because they are, they are unbelievably awesome. PNSO is doing incredible work. I really want to review more of their stuff on the channel coming up this year, so especially their new smaller models. They've got some really awesome smaller models uh, that are coming out. They've got like a concavenator, they've got a nemicolopterus, which are two of my favorites. I'm not going to go over all of those in this video because there are an unbelievable amount of new minis coming out from them. But we're just going to take a look at their two brand new large scale models, which are actually very reasonably priced and they're up for pre-order on eBay right now. So here is the first one. This is Brook the Ophthalmosaurus, and this thing looks amazing. Now, uh, yeah, it's a typical ichthyosaur, but we don't really get too many ichthyosaur figures out there. And this one, out of all the ichthyosaur figures I've seen, it's just, um, it's incredible. Uh, the measurements say it's about 480 millimeters long, which translates to roughly 18 inches. So this thing is big, and this is going to make for a great display piece. I'm thinking it would look really cool if you got like one of those um, ship in a bottle stands, like the little glass uh, pieces that hold up the bottle, and like put this guy on top of it in a nautical designed room or corner or something. As you can see, the coloration is very typical on this figure. You have a dark gray and light gray counter shading going between the top and the bottom of the body. Uh, makes sense for a marine creature. The eye is beautifully done with like an amber color. Uh, it looks very reflective as well. That looks beautiful. You have some faint striping going down the snout and some hints of like pinkish and blue colors throughout the figurine as well. But this just looks amazing, and out of all the ichthyosaur figures that are out on the market right now, this is definitely my favorite that I've seen. So that's Brook the Ophthalmosaurus, really looking forward to this one. Not sure if I'm going to get this one, but I do want to get the next one here. Guys, take a look at this. This is PNSO's Nick the Ceratosaurus, and this is unbelievably awesome. This is probably... Well, this is, right now, my favorite Ceratosaurus, like, model or figure that I've seen. And it might even be my favorite representation of the species, just for how awesome this thing looks. I mean, the pose is incredibly cool and dynamic. The coloration is just unbelievable. It's very vibrant, but it's also kind of naturalistic and dull at the same time. The yellows and the violets and the blues really work together nicely, and I love the bright, like, sky blue eye on the face. The crests on the head have a nice fiery amber color to them, so they stand out pretty nicely. The teeth and the interior of the mouth just look so menacing as well. It's just an absolutely gorgeous model. And this one is actually bigger than the Ophthalmosaurus, measuring in at 580 millimeters, which translates to roughly 22 inches long. This one is just amazing. I cannot wait for this one to come out. I kind of want to just invest in this one to have it on my nightstand next to my Vitae Giganotosaurus. I think these two would look really cool next to each other. I never really get these higher end collectibles, like really lar like larger statues of dinosaurs. I mo mainly focus on smaller figures, but I think the Ceratosaurus is going to persuade me into getting some of these larger ones. Judging by the pose of the Ceratosaurus, it's definitely going to have a base. There's no way this thing can stand without one. I assume that there's going to be like a metal peg up inside of its foot, or the foot is going to have a peg built into it or something, and it just sits right onto the base or whatever. Uh, the only thing is the tail looks a little bit bendy, but I quite like it just for a stylistic choice. Uh, other than that, I don't really see anything that really bugs me on this figure. I mean, there's a, little, a tiny bit of shrink wrapping on the face from what I see, but it's really not that bad. I really like the wrinkles and folds in the skin. The scalation detail is gorgeous throughout, 
And yeah, I just cannot wait for this figure. Well, there you go, guys. That was my quick look at two of PNSO's brand new larger scale models coming out this year. I believe the Ophthalmosaurus is coming out February to March and the Ceratosaurus is coming out later in the summer, if I heard correctly. Um, but these are looking absolutely incredible. PNSO, you guys are doing amazing work and you really need more recognition. I am planning on reviewing some of their smaller figurines that just came out over Christmas time coming up on the channel, so make sure you stay tuned for those in the coming weeks, perhaps. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of these two models down below. My favorite is definitely the Ceratosaurus, but the Ophthalmosaurus is really growing on me as well, because that one looks incredible. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a comment telling me what you think of these brand new prehistoric models from PNSO. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care, and bye-bye.